In today's video, we will be studying about operations on signals, operations like time shifting. Now, time shifting is of two types, advance and delay. An advance signal is an advanced version of XT. So, if current signal is given as XT, the advance signal will be given as X of T plus any integer element. So, this integer element can be 1, 2, 3, 4. So, x of t plus 2 here in this case is an advanced signal of x2, advanced by 2 units. So, this is in continuous time domain. Similarly, we can have the same thing in discrete domain. Similarly, a delay signal is given as x of t minus any integer element. In this case, it is 2. So, and in discrete case, it can be given as x of n minus 2. So, let's take an example and understand this. So, this is a given signal. It has an amplitude of 2 from 0 to 1, an amplitude of 1 from 1 to 2. An advanced signal x of t plus 2 of this signal is given as this. So, if you see, this is a left shift of the same signal and the shift is of 2 units. So, the same signal has been shifted, the shape remains same, by how many units? By 2 units. So, it is shifted by 1 unit here and 2 unit here. So, the signal as it is appears here. So, this is the one way of seeing this. The other way to see this is whatever signal amplitude is present at 0 should be now present on 0 minus 2. Remember, it is a 2 plus 2 operation given here. But while drawing, we will draw, we will plot the point at 0 minus 2. So, t plus 2 is here. But while drawing we do 0 minus 2. So at 0 minus 2 that is minus 2. Whatever signal strength is here will appear at minus 2 as it is. Once you get the leading edge simply draw the entire signal as it is in xt. Or the other way is again after plotting the amplitude at 0 go for the amplitude at 1. At 1 whatever is the amplitude will reflect at 1 minus 2. So, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So, at minus 1, whatever is the shape here will appear here and so on. So, this entire signal is now shifted, left shift by minus 2. So, for advance, we will go for left shifting. Similarly, for the delay signal, so suppose now this xt, this is xt. Now, a delay signal, if we are supposed to draw x of t minus 2, you will simply shift this signal by 2. This is one shift. And this is 2 shift. So, this same signal will appear here as it is appearing here. Okay. So, for easy way out, we will again plot the points. So, what we will do is we will take the origin 0 and add 2. In this signal, we are drawing x t minus 2. But for plotting the signal, we will add 2 to x axis. So, 0 plus 2. 0 plus 2 that means 2. Add 2, whatever is the amplitude at 0 will reflect at 2 now. Similarly at 1, whatever is the amplitude at 1 will reflect at 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. So whatever at 1 is now reflecting at 3. Whatever at 2 is now reflecting at 4. So the entire signal is shifted by 2 units in the right. So suppose this is 3, we will shift by 3. So this is called signal delay. So, if you compare the two, advanced signal is shift left and delayed signal is shift right. Okay. So, now moving to the same signal, same uh, example that is advanced and delay for discrete signal. So, this is a discrete signal given an arrow indicates origin. So, first we will draw this signal. So, at origin the amplitude is 2. At minus 1, the amplitude is at sorry, at 1, the amplitude is minus 1. At 2, the amplitude is 1. At minus 1, the amplitude is plus 1. So, we have drawn the signal here. Now, the advanced version we will draw x of n plus 3. As I said, x of n plus 3 and advance corresponds to a left shift. So, here it is plus 3. So, you will left shift by 3 units. So, if you see here, the same signal has been shifted by how many? 1, 2, and 3. So, the entire signal is going to come here like we have drawn here. Okay. So, to go point wise, we will take 
the amplitude at minus 1 as we are drawing n plus 3 we will do a minus 3 to plot on the x axis so minus 1 becomes minus 1 minus 3 so whatever is at minus 1 will now appear at minus 4 whatever it has, is at 0 will appear at 0 minus 3 does minus 3 a 2 whatever is at 1 will appear at 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 and so on so this corresponds to this this corresponds to this this point will correspond to this and this will correspond to this so the entire signal is shifted left by 3 units 1 2 and 3 so this entire signal is appearing here ok so now we will uh, try and understand the delayed signal so delayed signal is given as x of n minus 3 we have already discussed that a delay means a right shift so if you see compare with x n so this is x n this is x n minus 3 so a right shift by how many units by 3 units take this signal shift right 1 2 and 3 so the entire signal is going to come here as it is whatever is seen in the question so to go point wise you take the first point and add because there is a subtraction here you just do the opposite take 2 add 3 2 plus 3 is 5 2 plus 3 is 5 whatever is at 2 that is the amplitude 1 will reflect now on 5 similarly 1 will become 1 plus 2 that is 3 whatever is at 1 will now appear at 1 plus 3 that is 4 whatever is at 1 will now appear at 1 plus 3 that is 4 whatever is at 0 so this term 2 will appear at 0 plus 3 that is 3 and so on and hence you will get the entire signal so here we have in this video we have studied both advanced and delay of continuous time and discrete time signal.